Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the Animal Lady Takeover Day. So I'm hoping that you're not too tired from our dance animal moves just where we did our wiggle and wriggle and crawl movements. Um, we have got another video for you and this time we're going to be making a craft. We're going to be making a snake from card. So these are things that you can find around your house. You haven't got to use card, you can use paper and you can colour them in at the same time or make different patterns. This is what we're going to be making, which is our paper chain snake. And to make this, you need some coloured card or paper, like I said, and you can draw and colour it in as you want to. Just what I had to hand was at home. So some card. You then need to cut your card or paper into little strips like this. So get your adult to help you because you will need to use some scissors and we need to make sure that you are really safe, okay? So we need two lots of these. You can, if you want to, use lots of different colours and lots of different coloured card. It's completely up to you. Like I say, as what do you have at home to hand? You will also need some goggly eyes, but if you don't, don't worry. As long as you've got a pen or a felt, you will need some glue and you will need some plain paper. So just a piece of paper like this, just so you can cut out a tongue, okay, tongue shape. So how we make our snake, we're going to pop him over here just for now, just so we've got a little bit more space. So we said we're going to cut our card. So I've already cut my card into strips. What we're going to do is bend the card to make a circle, okay? But we have to glue that, otherwise it's going to come undone. So with our glue... We want to glue one end and then we want to stick that down like that and hold it for a few seconds just to keep it all in. Now to make your next loop, you put that piece, different colour, through the loop and glue again and hold it down so you have now two circles. Now you can make this as colourful or as long or as short as you want to. Okay, this is your snake, it's how you want to make it. You can also make caterpillars and things like this as well. So again, a bit more glue. We're going to go and hold it for a few seconds just so that it fixes and it sticks. So now your snake is getting much bigger. Okay, next colour, we're going to loop that one again. We're going to put some more glue on there, hold it down. Yeah, well done. You're doing really good, guys. Now you can make these, as I said, out of all sorts of materials. You can use cardboard, paper, pa coloured card like I'm going to do. You could even use toilet rolls, the empty toilet rolls, and cut those into circles and glue those together. If you don't have glue, you could use a stapler if your adult can help you, your grown-up can help you. Or you could use sellotape as well, that would help, that would work. So, once you've got your paper chain, okay, you put that to one side, and you need to get a piece of coloured card again, and we're going to just cut out a shape for the snake's head. Now, I've already done my snake's head, then I had my other snake, he's got an orange head, this one's going to have a yellow head. And what I want to do is when you've got your pointy bit, I want you to just to bend, you see, just the end there, just to make a little fold, yeah? So then what we want to do is you want to glue the folded bit and you want to stick it onto the opposite colour. So if you're using yellow like me, you want an orange back and then yellow. So we use the opposite colour. Again, you can do this with felts or crayons, paint if you want to. Whatever you have at home is going to make this easier. Why that just sticks a little bit, I'm going to cut out... From your plain paper, you want to cut out a tongue shape. Now remember what we said earlier in our videos, that snakes have got forked tongues, so they've got it pointed like a V. So just very simply, cut out a piece. Now you can paint this after, or if you've got coloured card, you can use red. You can also use any colour you want to, really. Little bit of glue on the end of his tongue. We put that underneath, and we'll just hold that down. So then you have your general shape of your snake, okay? Now with my other snake that we did, we used goggly eyes, okay? If you don't have these or can't get these, that's not a problem, guys, because what we can do is if we turn our new snake, let me get rid of those, 
you can draw his eyes on now remember you can use any shape you want to any color you want to you can even give him two little nostrils as well if you like so it's really down to what you have at home now make these and send them into our page just so that we can see what you've all been up to and all the lovely colors that you decided to use and how big you wanted to make a snake you could even make a snake that could fit in your bedroom wall yeah like a big garland or a decoration guys thank you very much for the takeover day it's been wonderful and we'll see you again soon bye bye